Hello Scorpio, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the week of the 20th going to the 26th. So happy holidays, everybody. I hope you are all doing well. Uh, I'm going to go straight into your reading here, Scorpio, and see what's going on for you for this week. Ouch. All right. What is this about? So we have the Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck. This is great. Lots of love going around here, guys, but we do have two cards here. Um, but I want to pull some more out before we talk about it, Scorpio, because the worst thing is I don't want to the worst thing is I don't want to say the wrong thing I do see a lot of attention going on around you this week you are going to have a lot of admirers coming in we have the six of wands queen of wands too clarify this one card though because we do with the seven of swords but let's talk about it <laughs> I didn't want to worry you mm, interesting now we have look at this I do see someone coming in here with a romantic offer this is a divine counterpart here Scorpio I know it's coming straight in but the only thing is Maybe you are questioning whether they're being honest with you or not. Because it's almost like someone's saying what it is. Someone's telling you what you want to hear. Nine of Cups. Hmm, this is interesting. Nine of Cups is usually about wish fulfillment, getting what it is that you want here. But there's for some reason a boundary you're putting with this person here, with the Queen of Swords. I don't think you're very trusting of what this person has to say to you. Maybe because they walked away from you. But whoever walked away, I do see that the both of you are missing each other here. And with the Ten of Cups, wanting, happiness, fulfillment. And we have two aces here as well. There is truth, there is communication, there's clarity coming in. And there's also a wand coming in, which is sexual energy, all right? But also passion. <laughs> it doesn't have to be sex, Scorpio. Um, which is interesting. Clarify the Six of Wands for me, please, Spirit. What can you say about this? King of Swords could be an air sign or someone who comes across very cold. I do see communication coming in, especially if someone left a situation. This is someone who you've separated from, okay? So there is something very rewarding about this. I feel like you're going to feel very successful because this person is almost... I don't want to say that they're chasing you, Scorpio, but they are um, expressing something to you within this week. They are communicating something, but they're coming across very cold. Uh, in the beginning anyways, I think they're just very direct. This person's a very direct person. They're not going to beat around the bush when they come to you. They're going to tell you the full on truth of why they're communicating to you, which is why, which is why, spirit. Because they've been thinking about you. Two of ones and the, um, could be a Pisces here. They've been thinking about you. Someone's been thinking about you regardless of their sign with the hanged man. Someone has been able to have time and space to think about the situation. Now the two of ones, again, it's about someone thinking about the future, thinking bigger, thinking... I think someone's opened their mind a little bit more and they have seemed to have come up with an answer or with a solution that they didn't see the first time. So maybe there needed to be some space. But they're coming straight in. They're rushing in, Scorpio, with the um, Knight of Swords. And they want to communicate something to you. With the Hanged Man, again, someone's been able to admire you from a distance and actually see a bit. Not just, they see your value is what I mean to say. <laughs> they see your value a lot more now than what they did. And I think that because here, the first time around, they didn't see this going anywhere. Because with the Ace of... Um, this is very specific for some of you. I'm really sorry <laughs> for those who it doesn't resonate with. I don't think this is your reading, but stay tuned. Maybe, I don't know. Anyways, Ace of Wands here is actually tied down to the building, but this one is almost like they've, in the first place, when they first saw you here, Scorpio, it's almost like they didn't see this going very far because it wasn't that kind of dynamic. And I don't know what they mean by this. It's very specific. Now... They see something different. They see something bigger. They're more open-minded about where this uh, connection can go, where the future can go. Again, if this isn't a love interest, this could be a business partnership, could be anything. Um, but now they see things more clearly. Um, not just clearly with the Knight of Swords, but they have more passion about where the future can go. They have more vision. I want to say they have more vision. Absolutely. Right, can we clarify the Seven of Swords though? It's really bugging me. Hmm, someone's been learning their lessons. Maybe they were running away from lessons here, maybe from their shadow side. Um, someone was avoiding um, some very well, um, well needed. You can't speak Zeta today. Um, yeah, some well needed, Jesus, some well needed introspection. Someone needed to really look within Virgo energy, regardless of 
signs someone needed to see things differently and again like the hanged man is about a different perspective seeing things from a different point of view and someone's now seeing something from a different point of view but for this to come out from the seven of swords again maybe they did do something wrong maybe they were being quite sneaky maybe they did lie maybe they did um hide some things from you i do see with the hermit card and i don't normally see this is that they seem to have learned from this they've gained some kind of wisdom from this situation and, and can you see they're still holding the stick <laughs> still holding the stick they do have hope for this and a lot of passion i must save towards you scorpio of course right of course why i think they think you're on the same page now and again very mysterious is is you <laughs> that's how they see you very mysterious they love your energy though can i say that i'm getting goosebumps as i'm saying that maybe maybe this person was very in and out So I'm seeing you will be very happy about the fact that they're reaching out. Whether it's a pride thing, I don't know. <laughs> but I do see it happening. Um, and with the Queen of Wands, wow. How they view you, you're beautiful inside and out, Scorpio. Again, very mysterious. Something very feminine about your energy. Now, regardless of what gender you are, this is, this is unique to them, okay? Something very unique about your energy. Clarify the Queen of Wands judgment yeah someone's kind of seeing things clearly look at that two of cups um someone sees that they have a lot of passion towards you a lot of chemistry with you clarify the judgment so they're learning a lesson this could again be reconciliation strength leo energy coming through here now so again confidence your confidence whoa um is alluring and for this to clarify the judgment here Again, I feel like we're coming back round stronger this time. This time. So maybe last time things didn't work out very well, Scorpio. I'm seeing a red flag. But again, this may be something that they've looked at within themselves. Look at this. Yes, yeah, Scorpio, someone's coming back round. I don't normally like to do these readings. For all of those of you who know me, I never ever talk about stuff like this because I feel like the past is in the past for a reason. So if you, now you have your own choices, you don't need to take this person back, by the way, Scorpio. I don't want to see none of that stuff in the comments. I don't care enough to know whether you want to take it or not. I'm just telling you what's coming in. All right, my angels. Knight of Cups could be another water sign, regardless of who it is. Communication is coming in very quickly. Um, and with the Four of Wands, again, I am seeing celebrations around this kind of communication but um i think that this is about four of wands is about relationships about coming together and this is what this person is kind of um proposing to you scorpio you guys are kind of like yin and yang is what i'm hearing because it's like you guys yeah you know what that means <laughs> you guys are very opposite but you kind of blend together very nicely there's a good um connection between the two of you it works it does work i don't know what the seven of swords is though it bugs me i don't know if this is really big and bad in which case if they cheated on you by the way can i just say don't be accepting any of that i don't care if they come in romantically don't be accepting that if it is like um, running away from responsibilities because they want to live a life of freedom or, you know, um, wanted to come in and out whenever they pleased. Let's talk about it. Why is the Seven of Swords here? What is this lying, cheating, stealing energy? What is the Seven of Swords representing, please? I, <laughs> I'm not seeing anything negative here. All I keep seeing is maybe they ran away from the situation without explanation. It could be ghosting. Six of Swords, uh, King of Pentacles, and we have the Temperance, which is about coming back around again. And this is about doing things. Again, I'm, I'm constantly getting the same theme throughout this whole reading, Scorpio, that someone's wanting to come back stronger this time. It's almost like a bounce back energy that this other person, this is not your energy, this other person is really kind of desiring from you. Six of Swords. Could be again. Someone's coming more with a, more stability this time. Um, and again, Temperance. Maybe they needed, again, some time to think about it. Okay. Anything else happening for Scorpio this week? <laughs> Outside of this situation? 
three cup celebrations yes a very merry time which suits the holiday season this is about spending time with people that you love and it doesn't have to be a lot of people scorpio there could be just be a couple of people that you really care about the most and this could be a great time of where you're celebrating with them having fun listening to music this is incredible singing for you guys as well it will be very good the Empress. This is a really good time of where money is increasing, your work life is getting better is what I'm hearing. It's not just good, it's getting better, which is nice. Communication is coming in, things that you've been waiting for, the shipments that you've been waiting for is coming in. I am seeing there is some changes coming in and transformation coming in. Definitely a need for healing, but with the Empress, a glow up. This is about you spending some time around people that you love the most, all right? And feeling very beautiful about it, like a beautiful energy is coming in for you guys. Um, now, one thing I also wanna say with this is that now that we're stepping more into our Empress energy, this is really about attracting and not chasing. And because of this energy that you're doing within this week, again, the things that you've been waiting for are coming in. I do see that very strongly. I'm so, yeah, I was clarifying the Queen of Swords, Gemini energy. Can we do here about making a decision about a love interest? Because that's what the storyline was about before. Someone is wanting to come in and offer something stable. Yeah, again, look, now we have lots of divine counterparts coming in here. King of Wands, Queen of Wands, King of Swords, Queen of Swords. You may have met through mutual friends, or I'm kind of seeing two couples. All right, what is the, I guess the conclusion is gonna be different for everyone. I really do feel like it's 50-50 with the choice that you make with this. Again, if they were cheating, lying, and stealing, bin them. <laughs> Scorpio, you know better, bin them. Um, if it's someone who, again, this could be mild for a few of you. Sometimes the Seven of Swords is self-sabotaging behaviors. This person may, again, have been really going against their own feelings so that they can, I don't know, think more logically so that they can maybe take some time. It's interesting. Some of you, this person was waiting for you to say something to them. Uh, and this is why it, it, they feel guilty about it. I don't know if this is playing games, but they do feel guilty about it because they kind of do see that this wasn't the best choice or decision to make is to wait for you um, because the three of uh, ones coming in again is that they feel like, yeah, I feel like the seven of swords is that for some of you anyways. Anything else? We have the eight of swords and there's a flipper here. Yes, an apology coming in. And this is also about you needing to uh, balance your emotions, Scorpio, this week. With the Eight Swords, sometimes it can be very difficult to stop thinking about something or to, again, understand a situation better. I think there's a very big need to express your emotions to people who are willing to listen. And that could be professionals or that can be friends. Whoever you feel comfortable speaking to, I really do think this is a perfect week to be able to do that. All right, We need to get it off our chest here. But this is, again, an apology from someone who has left you feeling quite stuck in a situation. Okay? All right, let's see what else is going on for you, Scorpio, for the week. Let's talk about it for love. Oh my goodness, we have playfulness coming straight out, out of the whole deck that fell on the table. Playfulness is coming through, and that says, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. And this can just be when you realize someone's true intentions, take your time with it. Um, this is about allowing yourself to be that playful person that you are. With the Queen of Wands, you are very playful, very sassy, very confident, very fiery at times, especially from what this person knows you as. This is what they love about you. So they're going to be quite surprised when you approach them with the Queen of Swords energy here, with the boundaries. They're going to be like, whoa, Scorpio's gone cold as ice. Jeez. You have the ability to do both, be as warm and loving and kind, but the moment that you feel like someone's taking advantage of that, you do become very cold and detached. And they didn't expect that. Anything else? Pay attention to the red flag. So again, if they are, if they have done anything naughty, then again, don't allow them to come into your life. There's too many cards there. Um, if you've already seen the signs, um, a very big thing here we also have let go of control issues so the outcome of the situation um and one more 
stay optimistic about your love life here. All right, my angels, let's show you. I don't even know if you can see it. <laughs> it's really um, dark. And stay optimistic about your love life, okay? Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. But with the right people, I do see someone from the past coming in though, Scorpio. It's up to you. Up to you. All right, my angels. I love you guys. Happy holidays. Have an amazing time. And I will see you guys next week.